Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Tara with Pieces of Tara Artistry. I'm happy you're here with me today. Um, I'm just basically prepping the edges, uh, getting the edges tacky with um, that base paint. And then my base coat that I'm putting on here is the colored pearl cell recipe and the white pearl cell recipe. So both or actually all three of those colors the white the turquoise and the Prussian blue all have satin enamel in them different ratios uh, this the colored pearl cell is a little bit different ratios than the white pearl cell recipe but yeah all these colors have the satin enamel in them so the base coats always have satin enamel when you do a pearl pour and the puddle colors and the Dutch pour colors that I use do not have satin enamel. So I give the recipe for both of them. Uh, I gave the recipe already for this, the satin enamels with the colored pearls and the white pearls. And then I'm going to give the recipe for the Dutch pour colors and the puddle pour colors. The Dutch pour and puddle pour colors are all exactly the same. So these actually that I just put down, I just put down some more of the base uh, coat colors. So those are all still satin enamel. So now from here forward, all of my colors um, have the um, just pouring medium and the paint, uh, not satin enamels, except for when I scrape and redo the whole thing. So. I'm using the nickel azo gold this time for the first time I have seen so many artists they use it they love it I have not tried I have a whole um, four ounces of the golden fluids in the nickel azo gold that I'm just they it's been on my shelf for a while and I thought I would give it a try and um, you know it's funny because when you look at the pour from Rec being recorded it always looks so different than when you're in person so that whole left portion of this I actually think is really cool at this point and as it starts developing more with the cells I think it's cool but in person it just did not it wasn't doing it for me so then I try and kind of go over in certain areas and then I was thinking maybe I'd just do a little Dutch part and that didn't work and yeah it was too much white it pasteled everything and then I went over the Nicolay's of gold because I wasn't really in love with it and then I didn't like that either so then I decided to go ahead and try to salvage it and so I just put a bunch of colors down which again, once it started developing on video, it doesn't look so bad, but in person, it was just a little too, um, it was a little too muddy for me. So I decided that after fiddling for a little while here, I, and it, and it wasn't bad. It was it wasn't bad, and it probably would have been fine had I just let it dry. It's kind of a big clump in the middle of that white, so I wasn't really liking that. So I decided I would kind of make a little bit of a um, swipe across the middle of here with the blow dryer. And again, I, I didn't think it was bad. It just it just was a little bit. It was a little muddy for me. So I let it develop for a little bit and then I was like, nope, I'm not liking it. And so I decided to scrape it. So I scraped all my edges. I scraped the whole thing. I wipe it all the way down with paper towel and make sure there's not, you know, any real amounts of any paint still left on the canvas. And then I try again so I start over again with the Prussian blue and the turquoise these both have the satin enamel colored pearl cell recipe uh, colors so this is the Prussian blue by golden fluids 
This is the Turquoise Blue by Amsterdam. I use that as my base coat. And then I am just gonna lay some colors down after that, after I spread out, spread out the uh, base coat. I lay the colors down, uh, kind of almost like, I just kind of lay it down in kind of ribbons and then I decide to blow it out. And I love the results of this one. You guys, I mean, it. <laughs> It's all super subjective, you know, like art is so subjective and so many times I, um, you know, I don't love something and, and so many times I, and other times I do love it, but other people don't love it. So I actually really love this. It's a 12 by 16. I really am happy with how this one turned out. I love how some of the colors sunk, um, into these lines that are just, they're just kind of these thin, pretty lines there in the middle. It didn't get super blown out, but I really love the effects of it. And um, that satin enamel, because of, because of it, it kind of started eating the paint a little bit. But that was okay because it, it kind of made these lines thinner. That uh, turquoise and that uh, magenta and, and um, PVO um, blue violet iridescent. It, it just I don't know it just made it look pretty and then of course I go in and kind of add in some more negative space with the Prussian blue after I blow these out and then I actually even went in and added a tiny bit of the Prussian blue uh, after it was dry um, on that side that looks like the bottom right now uh, because I added in kind of a lot of negative space all the way around and there was a little section that just kind of needed to be added the the Prussian blue fluid um, just in the the fluid paint straight from the bottle so okay I'm gonna stop talking now I'm gonna let you guys watch the rest of this I really like how this turned out I love actually the PBO iridescent blue violet mixed with the golden fluids ma deep magenta I think is what it is it's such a pretty pretty color mixed together and um, so I, I really, I really loved it. I'm glad I added that in. I'm, I'm glad I added those or mixed those two colors together because I think I'm going to be using that more often in the future. So I'll let you guys watch the rest of this. Thank you for being here. Thanks for watching as always. And let me know what you think of this one in the comments. If you like what you're seeing, please like, um, share subscribe hit that notification bell so that you're notified each time I put out a new video head over to my dad's channel uh, DJ fluid arts he's got some cool stuff that he's doing um, painting on um, glass so it's, it's pretty cool so yeah all right guys you have a great one and I will see you on the next one mm -hmm.